What is this? Uh, just wait, something cool's gonna happen. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. A Moorish sovereign citizen is suing himself and his parents, along with a whole slew of others. You've got to see this. So it looks like he started in May drafting it up and then it ended on the end of July when he actually typed it up so we could actually read it. But here's the paperwork. It's 140 some odd pages. I'm not going to go through them all, but here's all the defendants. <laughs> There's a whole lot of them. So he started in May, like I said, drafted up in July and then finally typed it out. And then the beginning of August is when he filed it through the courts. This is what the courts have, 140 some odd pages. There's the thumbprint, you gotta love that. that. That's a seal. Here's all the defendants in print. Look at this, the Department of Interior, the Department of the Army, everybody, including his parents and family, because somehow they kept his Moorish American nationality from him. That's his complaint. And here is what the judge had to say about this case. Yes, wouldn't you know it, the judge dismissed the case and denied the plaintiff's request to seal the pleadings because I'm imagining he was afraid it would make him look foolish. Surprise! <laughs> and in other sovereign citizen news, there's a Facebook group dedicated to just sovereign citizens and American nationals, quote-unquote. Well, one of their big-time moderators got pulled over. Check this out. Here's, here's the one post from one of the people. Yeah. And here's the post from that moderator, April. Yeah, she got pulled over and went to jail because of her sovereign citizen antics. Let's check that out. So I've been pulled over for almost 10 minutes now, and um, no uh, emergency, nobody was dying, no accidents. Dear Mora, am having a swell time here at the insane asylum. No issues with my automobile, no issues with me. He was advised that I'm not a statutory citizen, he was advised that I'm an American national. Say what? Say what? He was advised that this is a private mode of travel and not a vehicle. You're wrong. You're so wrong. That's totally fine. You can record. I'm also recording as well. So you do me a favor. You want to step out the vehicle for me? No, sir. So, yes, ma'am. I'm going to ask you. Please step out the vehicle. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. On what grounds are you telling me to get out of my own automobile? So Pennsylvania versus Mims. It's case law. Are you familiar with case law? Oh, oh, not at all. Mm -mm. Well, read up on it. Pennsylvania versus Mims is a Supreme Court decision saying get out of the car. So, are you able to read? I'm not case? answering any questions. Okay, so I'm not stepping out of my vehicle. Hey, you just said it was a vehicle. You <laughs> My automobile. On what grounds? For no what? I don't require a driver's license. You know what? I'm going to own League City by the time this is over with. Never. Not in a million years. Absolutely not. No way, Jose. No chance, Lance. And yet, negatory. Mm-mm, nah. Uh-uh. And of course, my own personal favorite of all time, man falling off of a cliff. No! That's real well within your rights, but right now I'm asking you again. I don't need outside. a driver's license. You're an idiot. Like a guy who cheats on his right hand with his left hand. Step outside of your vehicle. Do you want to run my old driver's license? So do you want to run my old driver's license? I'm not stepping out. I feel like I'm under threat and you're going to harm me. Then go away. Move away. Do you want to run my old driver's license? Because it's going to show you do not detain, do not investigate, concealed weapon carry for life. 
I'll take things that don't exist for 8,000, Alex. You want to run it? 1-1-8-0. One, one, oh. Do you have the driver's license? Go run it. No? 1-1-5-3-8-0. One, one, yes, ma'am. Mm. Yeah, that's the last I'm going to ask. Please you need to go run the old ID. And what, you're going to tase me now? No, ma'am. You can't fix stupid. She cut off the video, but she got her car towed and got arrested. Thanks for joining Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. You're subscribed and ring the bell for notifications. So the next time I premiere a video, you can be in the live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And thank you to our channel members, King Leo 9, Bandon and D, Robert Morley, Private JM, and Led Zeppelin World of Girls 73. And as for me, one is she. Thank you. I'll see you later.